She breastfed her husband. She oh. breastfed her husband. She coddled him. And coddled him. Make okay. up your mind, PPA and MLP, stop it. <laughs> Some hot sauce left. All right, we'll talk about that next episode. That pisses me off. Yeah, let's talk about it. All you old chicks, you don't want to talk about it. Hey, Piss and Pickle people, welcome back to episode 43. Wow! Can you believe that? No. And guys, we've begged and pleaded for you to follow us and like, and you just come out and you have not disappointed. We were just needing 500. That was our goal. We didn't get 500. We're the 700 subscribers. Thank, Thank you guys so much. Thanks we for sharing. We couldn't do it without you guys. Thanks for sharing it, telling your friends and your family how your dumb we are. And um, just thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate it. Love y'all. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, oh gosh. We got a spicy show today. There's something sketchy going on. There's some sketchy stuff going on. And, you know, we try to keep up with the current events here. I like to hear sketchy. We try to stay on top of things. Mm -hmm. Missy really tries to stay on top of things. I try to. It doesn't happen very often, but this is disturbing, so if you don't like disturbing things, turn my channel. Although maybe some people will say, hmm, it's disturbing. I'm all about it. So they might try it. Rachel Bailey, and this is totally true stuff, guys. Look it up. We're not a National Enquirer here. Mm -hmm. We tell stuff that's true. Rachel Bailey um, and her, her husband, a Ale young mom of two, Alexander. Mm-hmm was on a, a vacation where she was breastfeeding her younger children. And uh, she forgot to bring her breast pump. Mm. Ladies, you know how that feels. For men, get here's what it is. Engorged. It's in a plastic attachment with a big suction cup like a plunger. <laughs> you stick it on your breast <laughs> and it's like... Kind of like a cow. Kind of kind of yeah. like milky. Was, um, petite. Milky yeah. petite. Well, she forgot her pump. And when you're breastfeeding, maybe a little information here sure, on that. Sure, sure. Um, and you don't, the baby's not taking or whatever, your breasts fill up and they get huge and hard and it's very, very painful. Ouch. Normally, the baby takes care of that or if you have a pump that takes care of it. Well, old Rachel, she didn't have didn't either know what she forgot. Do. What does she so, do? her husband, Alexander, was standing by to lend a helping hand. I'll help you, baby. Um, and she probably lended a helping hand after he lent a helping hand. Maybe but two. I don't know. She let him breastfeed off of Suckle her. out her teeth. Suckle out that and relieve the pressure. She breastfed her husband. Oh, she breastfed yeah. her husband. She coddled him. And coddled him. We have a picture. Oh. And he liked it and she liked it so much that they do it three to four times a day now. Yeah. She feeds him three to four times a day. He comes home from work. And she said they feel closer. Yeah. And they bonded. Um, he's healthier. He hasn't had a cold since. Hmm. I bet his bones are pretty savvy. Kids' yeah. bones are probably brittle as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, that's for us. So, how old are they? Eight um, and ten? I don't know how old they are, but he said that his skin is so much softer. And he's healthier. Hmm. And I just want to know. What? Is he spit or swallow? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a swallow. I, I mean, is he, is he doing it strictly? Well, I guess he swallows because he he's has to his if his skin's, skin's got, so freaking unless he's nice. he's putting it on his skin. Well, that's the placenta. That would get kind of crusty. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, but yeah. So we're what do you guys think about that? In the comments below, men, tell us what you think. Have you would you suckle at your lady's breast milk? Breasts? If you have, do you like it? Ladies, do you allow your men to breastfeed? <laughs> Is this something? I don't know. I mean, and and she said that um, it's good for him. It's not kinky. And if she eats something spicy, oh, he gets a belly ache. He gets a belly. <laughs> he gets a belly ache. <laughs> she should get him some of those Mylocon drops. Yeah. When she too. gets pissed off at him, they're in a fight. She just goes, it's Mexican. <laughs> she, gets, she gets a big old burrito. Feed. Honey, <laughs> dinner is ready. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Strap on the old feed bed, Alex. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so disturbing. But I'm going to end the story with she said that, don't worry, this is not kinky, and the kids are always fed first. He gets like sloppy seconds, I guess. Yikes. Okay. Again, tell us I what you no think words. about that in yes. the comments Let's below. The comments I can't wait to see your comments, and we're going to read every one of them and respond to every single one of every them. Every one of them. So tell Let's us what you it. think about that. I don't know. I'm not going to have any milk, but I, I am going to have... I don't think I'm on board with the... I... I'm just going to have a fat tire and say yeah. cheers. Thanks, Johanna and Fat Tire New Belgium Brewing for the fat tire she supplies with. So we don't stay thirsty. 
Yeah. So we're not breastfeeding each other. Not on this show. This okay. is a family show, people. So family. Family. Yeah. family show. Maybe on episode 100. Yeah. No. Maybe. 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 Hi. Hey, we're here to tell you about an exciting new adventure. Is it an adventure? I it's a know. big adventure. It's a big adventure from my paddle. The guys out there in Oceanside, California, been making those bands. You love them. You yes. want them. What's up now? Now they're doing something even crazier. They are giving away paddle racks. 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 <laughs> Not for these. <laughs> paddle racks for your paddles for deserving communities, uh, organizations, etc., etc. All you have to do to win one of these is go to their website and details and instructions and all that are on their website at mypaddle.com. Get on there. Tell them why you deserve one for, I know we deserve one here in our community because yeah. there's we'll so be many getting people right on there. wanting to play. And if you have one of those racks and you can t -t 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 get your MyPad on, who's up? Bam. They're giving them away. Absolutely free to deserving people out there. We 12 know slots. you guys are deserving. We know it. M-Y-P-A-D-L.com. Go Check there. Why would you out. not? It's Go free. get your paddle Every rack single opportunity. Month. Every single month they're going to get Paddle rack opportunities. Paddle rack opportunity. Go get your racks. Get them. Bye now. I'm pissed. Leave me alone. I'm gonna work it out. I'm pissed. Leave me alone. I'm gonna work it out. So, Missy, what's pissed you off lately? Lately, um, quite a few things. I'll try to pick one. It was just disturbing, and it pissed me off that, you know what? You can't not see that. There's a four-way stop. Everybody stop. This woman crosses the road. Peach yoga pants. Okay, Ugh. not a small lady. She's not okay. Anyway, she's crossing the road, white, very clingy t shirt. Apparently, this woman who was crossing the road very slowly had an issue with her panties bunching up in her crack because she literally took her hand walking across there, shoved it down the back of her yoga pants. You could see her hand going flick all the way down to like her what's that called between her. Beave the taint and butthole taint. I, was, I didn't want to. I don't know if I could say taint. I don't know why. I say all kinds of other shit, but she freaking like, like it was obvious she was pulling her underwear out. She's like, mm. it was like a web. Whoosh, and then she pulled it back out, and I'm a. She goes. Ooh, la, la, la. <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. I God. How long are you sitting? Were you waiting for the stop sign to turn green before you left, or you just watched? We were this waiting whole thing? for Peachy to cross the road. Everybody is just she like just. So everybody it like saw it this. Is, okay. Unless that's they were disgusting. on their phone, and that's when I say that's okay to be your own stop sign. But yeah, it was so Stop it. disturbing. Stop it. You could Stop look it, away, people. and like I, I couldn't even go yet. I was like, oh, are you sick? Yuck. That pisses me off. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to be start my morning looking at Peaches smelling her butthole. <laughs> God. Why? If you had to get your underwear out of there, you could pull it out from the yoga pant. Just do one of these, you know? Yeah. You don't have to smell it. How about you wait till you get to where you're going? Go into the bathroom. And if you need to take a little smell on something, do it there in the privacy of your own Yikes. space. Yikes. Okay, let's move on from that one. We um, encourage comments. Sure, and, sure. Uh, we, we love, love to read them. We love to respond. So pissed off, pissed off. Uh, this week, well, you have nothing to be pissed yeah, about. Yeah, I do. There's so, a lot. Went to Sam's Club the other day, mm -hmm. not to give them a plug, but to get these beats because I like beats. Are you talking about pickled head beats <laughs> or <laughs> Dr. No, Dre? Like, oh. like pickled beets. Oh, you know, you like a jar. Okay, gross. So they come in a two pack in a jar, which you know everything is a twelve pack or because we are 40 pounds fat of America. Yeah. What would you do with that 40 pound vat of mayonnaise? I don't know. But anyway, so I got the beets, put them in the front seat of my car, driving home. Is that what you went there for, the beets yes. specifically? Yes. So I had the beets in a jar in my front seat next to me. Okay. okay. Drive, drive. Very slowly. And I see there's a stop sign ahead and there's a dude stopped at the stop sign driving to Tahoe. And um, the beets fell over and rolled into the floorboard. And I thought, oh crap, you know that red beet juice. You don't want that. You don't need So that. I took my eyes off the road for a fraction, a fraction. Bit down, pick up the beets. Next I go, <laughs> boom. Rear ended the freaking Tahoe in front of me. Did I'm he like, come unglued like, like oh, oh geez, are you kidding me? So I just sat there for a second. The you process. Hear the, you hear the car going, psh. I'm like, uh, this isn't good. 
this is not good. Mm -mm. We'll throw a picture up of what that looked Bam. like. Bam. Um, so I put it in park and I got out and it was two older gentlemen. They were very nice. And I okay. go, Thank I am God. so sorry. I wasn't on my phone. I was picking up beats. I bet they picking never up heard beats. that one. Yeah. And he look, turns around and looks, you know, he had a big old hitch on the back. It, it did like no damage to his. Obviously Thank my God. car's a total disaster. Yeah. And he's like, well, you know, <sighs> I'm like, here's my insurance, you know, da, da, da. The police didn't come or anything. And I, you know, I drive off looking like, you know. Sketchy. Parts are falling off my yeah. car down the highway. Have you ever had so that? That pisses me off. Because now you got to put it in the shop, pay your thousand dollar deductible, get out of car, and then I go to sell this car, and people aren't gonna want it because it's been wrecked. So mm -hmm. now they have that damn fax report. You can't be sketchy about. Wrecks. Yeah, you can't do anything. Just so I'll probably be driving the damn thing till I'm ninety five. I doubt it. Just a couple more years. So yeah, give yeah. it about eight years. You'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so that's what pisses us off. Tell us what pisses you off. Um, have you ever driven a car that's actually had a part dragging? I know you haven't. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> I do now. My whole emblem on the front, and that looks really tacky. You get a little busted up Mercedes. I really don't feel like you know dragging. tacky. Oh, I have a busted ground. up Mercedes. <laughs> Until you drive a Dodge Dart that's got a muffler dragon that you actually pull off on the way to work and scrape your hand. You don't know sketchy. So. Oh, but anyway, that's yeah. what pisses us off. Yeah. A lot of things and, are burning around. Yeah. Today. And you know what else? I'll tell what? you what. Things. Oh, pickleball. You know, this is pissed and pickle. We're a little bit about pickleball. A lot about what pisses people we, off. We're yeah. just kind of goofy. I don't know that we really have a lane that we're in. We just what go lane from lane should we to lane. Be in? I don't know. We just stay in our lane. What do you guys? Do no, you like our lane? That. I don't know. Should we do more of this or more of that or none of this or none of that? Again, tell us because... We're at your service. We'll do whatever. We don't but care. the MLP and the PPA, for all you pickleball listeners out there, you know all the drama that's been going on. They, they're they like a... Freaking soap opera They're there. like a squabbling married couple on the brink of divorce. Mm -hmm. That Ooh, are... Ouch. Some infidelities and... I don't know. Some There's sketchiness. Some sketchy. So they're going to split. Okay, so okay. they're splitting. We're MLPs going this way. PPAs going this way. You got to sign with these. You got to say, and we were bombarded on the social media. All of a sudden. Players. I signed here. Signed. Signed. We even had the, the hype guys, which are, you know, two yeah, dudes yeah. in a, you know, go around and get the crowd fired up. They signed with the PPA. Everybody's signing. And now all of a sudden, eh, just kidding. We're just going to go back Not together and be one happy family. Make Bullshit. up your mind, PPA and MLP. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. This is driving us nuts. Yeah, it's driving us nuts. It's like, so Who's now. in charge of this bullshit? Yeah, so now everybody that's science, like, oh, no, er, never mind. We're not. We're going to try to work things out. Again, it's like Whatever. a divorced couple. They won't. They'll go back. So anyway, I'll like tell you somebody that case. never goes back on her word. She is true to, she is who she is, and she, she is, is a hell of a pickleball player, professional player. Lee Whitwell is here today with our tip for us. When we're dinking, a lot of the mistake we make is we tend to try to use our wrist and our elbow to control the ball. That is a huge mistake and no-no. What we want to do is use our shoulder, and one way to do that is when we're hitting forehand dinks, is remembering that our thumb is in front of the paddle and we're holding the paddle. So we're gonna focus on pushing our thumb to where we want the ball to go. Very, very simple. On the backhand, we're gonna use our front two knuckles and we're gonna push our punching knuckles where you want the ball to go. And that should make it a very nice and easy, relaxed dink motion. No matter where you are on the court, if you remember your thumb and shoulder guide the way, or your knuckles and shoulder guide the way on your backhand, you have nothing but time. I dare you to try it. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. You are a doll. We unusual. love you, Lee. Can't wait to have well. another fat tire with you. We're going to see her in Dallas coming up. at the. She is one of the best, and we love her. We love her. The Do Pickleball really. Nationals coming up in Dallas. We're going to mm -hmm. go tear that town up. Okay, so let's, Yeah, come to Dallas. Come to Dallas, and let's, let's have some fat tires. You can buy us a tires. drink if you want to. Oh, we'll buy you a fat tire. We'll, yeah, we'll just pull it out of our trunk because mm -hmm. we have ample supply, thanks to Joanna. Thanks, thanks Joanna. Also, thanks... Uh, we did a little Zoom this morning with uh, Lindsay Ams from the Pickled Paddler. Guys, don't you love these sweatshirts? Pickled Panda. She sends us so much stuff. and We got these cool visors and everything. The Pickled Paddler. Pickled. Check them out on Instagram. They have really cool um, female-owned 
uh, business out of Indianapolis. Indianapolis. They'll custom make stuff for you. They have vibrant, you whatever you they want. Cool rainbow stuff. They have black. They have everything. They'll do whatever for anybody. Check them out. Pickle Paddler. Fantastic ladies. Uh, Fabulous com. sense of humor. Yeah, so fun. We played some this and that. We're going to throw that out. We're going to have an extra channel um, on YouTube where we just yeah. have Zoom meetings or with folks. Or things that were and, stupid and, and sketchy stupid and can't things say. Or things, things like that. that. Um, follow that. Again, tell your friends. I, I say we hit 700. Let's shoot for 1,000 by next by the next Ooh. episode. Can we do it? Can we yes, do it, can. people? Let's do it. Well, that brings us to... What everybody loves. And oh. we've asked, should Missy stop dating? We're like, no, stay out there. So Missy, we finished up the trilogy with uh, Arthur. You that survived was fun. that. Yeah. Uh, and you have another one for us. Not really a date. Well, people have been pounding at my door, of course, but I'm like, stop. I need a break. There it is all there the time. It is. I'm it's like, all the time. Hey, get out of here. Yeah. She's not dating tonight. Well, honestly, um, I did have a chance to go on a date. Yeah. You're not going to believe this, but I refuse. What? You know what? I think I, I stopped it before Run it actually it. happened. Feel a warm. I, kind of clammy. Yeah. I had some hot sweats last night. We'll talk about that next episode. <laughs> this is me all. Yeah, let's talk all about All you that. old chicks, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You young guys, whatever, you don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> I went to a place called Brass Rail with a few of my friends. I like shuffleboard. I don't know about you all. If you haven't played shuffleboard, go do it. It's fun as hell. I like the shuffle Cupid board. Shuffle. No Cupid. The dance you do at weddings. Oh, I don't do the Cupid Shuffle at weddings. Do you know what it is, though? I don't. Oh, that's that's my favorite. Because I know. Maybe we can do it next time. I know how to do it. You're so. you're quite the dancer. Yeah. You don't have to. Yeah, one that'll be a whole day, dance yeah, episode. Yeah, one of these days, guys, I'm going to show you some footage of me dancing at my son's wedding, and I don't know who got the video of it. You took but a little I tumble. Took a big, <laughs> I took, took a little a fall. Big tumble. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. You're there. Let's go back to that's great to okay. your. Uh, so anyway, encounter. we were at the brass reel, having a few appetizers, you know, just shooting the shit. So we weren't even drinking. I'm up at the bar, and I see this man out of my peripheral vision coming up to me. I saw him from afar. He looked pretty good, mm -hmm. you know, across the bar. He was at the pool table area, and he came up and sat by me, and I, he said something to me like. You know, Howdy, ma'am. Or something, you know. Did he have a straw uh, hat on uh, and a pipe? No, more of a Harley kind of dude. Oh. He had a long beard. Uh-huh. And we just had a brief little chat. He seemed pretty nice. And I looked over at him because he was like right there. And I couldn't help but notice that the beard, over on this side of the beard, bite a biscuit. <laughs> it's like a, a literal piece of biscuit. Probably about that big. About as big. Big as a quarter. How'd you know it's a biscuit? I can't say I do for sure. I feel like there was top. a golden brown Ew. on the top. Mm. Mm. And then to that as if the biscuit wasn't bad enough on the other side. I feel like there was a blob of mashed potato. Ew. I know. And I say that. Wait, are you sure, sure it was mashed, mashed potato? potato? <laughs> 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 Ooh, spanky. Okay, I don't know. Um, Where were you guys at? The Golden Corral? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish we were because that would have made more sense. We're at the brass rail. Oh. So maybe he was at the golden crowd. You know, before. if you have a beard, do a little shuffle before you go talk to somebody. Ew. Like yeah. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> God. So um So that you, has actually been my last You didn't go out with him then I'm thinking. No. No, I gave him my number. No. <laughs> I might be having a snack later. Yeah, no, guys. I let it ride. Look at I yourself before you try to hit on somebody. Put a bit of baby bird nest in there. Yeah, hard boiled egg. Seriously. I anything in there. That's disgusting. Fece okay, fecal matter. You know how bad fecal matter is in a beard? Even if you don't have actual don't, food. Don't, you don't, don't, don't stop. That's why they say don't put your toothbrush in the bathroom. Where do you have your toothbrush? In the bathroom. <laughs> but you, you're not supposed to. Because yeah. well, where are you supposed to put it? You're supposed to go grab it from somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe in a anyway. Um, again, another. Well, that wasn't even a date, but you didn't even get anywhere with that one. But don't worry, she'll be out because we're gonna get you on that new site, Hinge or whatever. Oh, good. And uh, <laughs> it's not a new site, new to her. Get her on Hinge. Get her back out there because you guys love it. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Thanks for telling all your friends. We're gonna shoot for a thousand by next week. A thousand subscribers. Yep. I think we can do it with your help. Thanks. So hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Tell them to hit the subscribe button. My paddle. 
Thank you guys for your support. The exclusive sponsor of the Piston Pickle Podcast. Lucky they, bastards. They are lucky fellas. Uh, <laughs> they make those fabulous paddle bands. And now they're giving away those racks for your community. Get on their site, mypaddle.com. Enter to win that. Tell them why you're deserving. Not everybody's deserving. That was my cue. Look at that. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. That's it for today. Till next time. Bye. Bye.